Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a treat for you and uh, not a treat for my bank account because I wandered on down to Nordstrom and I picked up a foundation that is brand new from La Prairie. Now, I kind of have a weird special place in my heart for La Prairie foundation because it was one of the like OG WTFs that I did way back when. And since then I gave that foundation to my sister who tried it and loved it. And she is a school teacher and she's like, there's no way I will ever buy this myself. And I'm like, take it, please have it. But I do remember really, really loving that foundation. And I occasionally will look online, you know, I've tried their tinted moisturizer, their powder, I will link corresponding videos below, but I haven't seen anything new from them in a long time. So when I was on Nordstrom.com doing my weird thing that I always do looking at new makeup, I saw this and I was like, that is perfect. We must know the truth of this $200 foundation. It is actually a compact foundation too, you guys. And I'm kind of having a moment with compact foundations. Now update, you know, the Laneige BB cream, that one is actually at Sephora and they have a whole range of stuff that I think I'm gonna order. I really wanna try more of it because when my sister was here and I used her BB cream, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the best. And then it made me like re get into BB creams. And then I saw this online and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like my summertime dream. I just want to like rub a little foundation on and be flawless. You know, don't we all want that? So uh, let's take a look at the fancy bag. Let's just appreciate this for a moment. Dear Lord, do you need this? I mean, I don't. I know that when I said um, to the lady at the counter, I was like, um, I'll take this, this one right here. And she's like, okay, did you try it? Which kind of made me feel like maybe she doubted the product. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with it. I swatched it, it's good. And she's like, well, you do get a backup. Like almost like she felt bad that I was buying it. It was really kind of strange. Anyway, you do get a backup. See, there's my little Nordstrom skew. Let's dive on into here before we scooch in and apply this. I am gonna do a full day wear test. And I also, oh God, this day, you guys. Oh. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon right now. Now I have spent the majority of my morning replying to emails and DMs and you guys on the Halo Instagram, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but there was a separate file of DMs that were not coming through that I thought was cleared out that was not. So I, I've been really, really good about like opening everything, but I went in there and over the weekend there were like 300 DMs and I like went through and replied to as many as I possibly could. And you guys, there were so many good before and afters and just people sharing their love for the product and how it's helped their skin, their hair, their nails, they're seeing growth, less fallout. They're seeing a reduction in acne breakouts and just all of these incredible things and pictures and I'm loving it. And I'm like, oh my God, how did I not see all of this? Why didn't you put your hair behind your ears, Tati? Okay, uh, a scatterbrain much. This is the backup, okay. Like it, love it. <sighs> They always kind of trick you with the box though. It's like, look at this beautiful presentation. And it's like, bing, that's all you get, you know? Why am I always smelling everything? Like literally that's the first thing I do with makeup is I smell it. So there isn't like a anything that goes over this. You just kind of scrunch in here with the pad and the foundation comes out and then you buff it on the face. This is a mighty compact for what it is. I kind of hate how like, I mean, it's like a hockey puck, you guys. Like this is meaty. I am the shade Peach, Pesh, Peach, NC20. They do not have a good shade range. I did manage to do a side-by-side -side with the lightest and darkest. You know, I wish all brands would be broader in what they bring out. But for, for certain brands, whether it's a Korean brand, Swiss brand, a lot of French brands, whether they are lighter shades or not, they like lean more pink. The, the shade range kind of sucked and it is what it is. Let's get some information on this. Let's educate ourselves on La Prairie. I'm in a weird mood today. Let's go to their official site. Skin caviar essence in the foundation. So you are getting, ugh. so you are getting their skin caviar in the foundation. It's skincare with the foundation, which I think is why they hike the price up so much. So for people that love that, you know, element of La Prairie, which is what they are known for, 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 which is what they are known for, you will love this. There is an SPF of 25, a fluid emulsion encapsulated in a cutting edge application system. It is the art of foundation as only La Prairie can conceive it. They're kind of full of themselves, aren't they though? They're like, we're the first and we are perfection. This says that 
It's a light coverage, it's a light coverage foundation. I like a little more than light coverage. Ingenious on the go compact, ba 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 ba. The selling points are not that great. I'm just gonna say, leaves skin with a refined texture. Skin feels smoother. Buildable light to medium coverage. Protects from UV damage. Portable and refillable. And that is all they're gonna tell you. And if you want it, you want it. And if you don't, you don't. Let's just dive right in. It doesn't even really say like how you're supposed to apply. Let's just smear it on our face. All right, so we're going in. I don't know why I think this is so weird. Like like a bolt of light should come out of it or something. I'm gonna use the little puff pad thing that they give you that kind of looks like not good, but we're gonna start with that. And then if we need to switch, which we probably will, uh, I will switch, but let's just kind of see what happens. Oh, ooh, I need primer. I already did my gold primer, but I need to like fill in the pores just a little bit. I thought I would use my like dynamic duo, the gold and then my tart, which I always use on a regular basis. Before trying a new foundation, I like to stick with, you know, a primer that I know and trust. You guys, I tried a face mask over the weekend. I get sent a lot of skincare, you guys see that. And I try a lot of it, but I tried a mask and it literally like kind of burned this area of my eye. Like I have weird texture there. Has that ever happened to you guys from a mask? So strange. And it's from a company that I really love. It was by Fresh. Their firming mask, I really, really love. So this was one of their newer ones. It was like a seaweed mask. And I'm like, D am I allergic to something in there? Let's hope this foundation like helps me out. Oh, weird. Do you see that? But like, how much are you supposed to get on here? You know what I wanna see? I wanna see the beauty news. If you guys don't watch them, you should. I'm gonna link them below. They're a really good channel. I wanna see them <laughs> try this out and see how many uses they can get out of it. You only get 25 uses for $195. Shock us all. Okay. Yeah, no, I hate this. Okay, we're going in with the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna use my little heart one that I got in my PR unboxing and then I'm giving one away. I have like a huge, giant, like big giveaway going on right now. And all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. Um, go watch that video, check it out. But it's like a really, it's a really good one. I'm gonna dampen this. I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and just basically do the same thing and just go in. Oh, these rings are really annoying me. They're coming off. This has a very, very strong scent to it. All La Prairie products do. That's something that I personally don't like about their products. It has a very just intense fragrance smell. Now I do really love their original foundation. I've loved their powder foundation. I like a lot of their products and this is going on really nicely. Like it feels really good. It's not wowing me to the point where I'm like, ooh, yes, you know, like, Honestly, the Laneige BB really, really wowed me. Oh my God, are you joking me? Note to you guys out there, if you try out a mask and it starts to feel uncomfortable, rinse it off straight away. It started to itch on me a little bit and I think it was like seaweed or something in there that just did not work for my skin. I didn't rinse it off fast enough, I feel. And I, looking close up, I'm gonna have to like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's what happens, you know, when you test so many products and here I am testing another one and I'm like, please God, let it be okay. But it'll go away, it'll be fine. Okay, this is layering really nicely. I'm kind of shocked by that. Dang. I really like this. I really, really like it. And I'm just gonna have to see how it wears. There are a lot of things I like, the way it feels, the way it's not settling, the way it blended. There are also things that I don't like. I don't like the compact size. I don't like how hard it is to get the product out. I hate that it is so fragrant that I kind of almost feel like I'm gonna get a headache. And I know that can't be great for your skin. And I wish more companies, even ones that go way back, you know, and, and hold standard to kind of trends that were maybe a couple decades ago. Like I hate saying it, but you know, the very perfumed um, luxury products, it's just, I don't know, I kind of, ugh, I don't like it. And then of course the giant price tag, but I remember when I used the $225 foundation that came with the concealer, whenever I wore that, I always felt like my skin just looked like my skin, but covered and beautiful and it photographed well. And I just, I really loved it. So I'm gonna see how this wears. I am going to layer on top a little concealer. Let's just do that together and 
We'll do some sweet check-ins throughout the day to see how this goes. Man, that is crazy. It like really doesn't even look close up like I'm wearing foundation, but I am very, very evened out. It does look nice. I like it. I am going to finish up my makeup and I will be right back. Yeah, dude, I like this. What? What? <sighs> You guys, I love this foundation right now, but that is right now. And there have been so many times where I will love something immediately and by the end of the day, it all falls apart. So my next move is to wear this all day long, but I have to say I'm impressed. Everything went on really beautifully on top of it without any skipping or patching. Like my bronzer looks good. I feel really radiant and not greasy, which is like, I love that. I usually either look like greasy and like my lines are enhanced and texture is enhanced and it's really tough for me to find a product that actually makes me look just really radiant and I feel like that's the finish of this so I'm kind of loving it I'm kind of hating the price tag but you know this is that kind of a video where I'm testing out really really wildly expensive items I do have to say this is very very similar to how I felt about the Laneige BB cream. So if at the end of the day, I do end up loving this one, know that I also love that one and it is a fraction of the price. So that is that. And the rest of my makeup, I have to say, I also really love, like I'm doing this kind of blank underneath situation where there's just like no mascara, not much of anything. And it just gives you this nice kind of fresh look. All right, so I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day, do some check-ins and we'll just see how it goes. All right, you guys, it is a hot day here in California, and I have to say I'm not getting overly greasy. This still feels really natural and lightweight on the skin. I'm having a decent skin day. I still don't know that it's worth like the hefty, crazy price tag, but we're gonna continue with the check-in. So far, so good. I can feel James wanting to chime in. Do you have thoughts? No, you look no? beautiful. You like this? Yeah. On a scale from one to 10? Eight and a half. But when I wore Larissa's foundation, was it better? I kind of think it was. Larissa's was better. Right? Yeah. Well, the Laneige BB, like that one was like the best foundation I have worn in a long time. So this one is pretty close, but of course huge drawback because it's like 200 bucks. Like I can't even say that without like $200. It's $200? $200. You know what? It just dropped to a five. No, <laughs> really? Yeah, it's down to a five. I think it still looks pretty. Five. And it is evening time in the studio and I have more things that I'm putting together for, you guessed it, another giveaway. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, you don't even understand how quickly all of this adds up. Oh my goodness. Somebody help me. This is what I've been working on all evening. This is Highlight Central slash Heaven slash, I'm trying to figure out which ones to part with. Oh my gosh. I love you all. I will be doing a full edit. I'm only keeping 20, maybe 25, and I started with like 200 highlighters, so that'll be up very soon. Hey, I'm in the mirror right there. Hey. My husband just told me that my makeup looks like makeup. I really don't know what that means. So can you further explain why my makeup looks like makeup? Sometimes when you have makeup on, it doesn't even look like you're wearing makeup. It looks like natural and like airbrushed. And it almost flawless always looks and, like I'm wearing makeup. Always. But sometimes you can see the makeup on the skin, like now. It's just sitting there. Like between the liquid lip and this, I kind of look dry. And, and <gasps> on the nose. Look at the nose. <gasps> That's what I'm talking about. Right. So you guys, it's... <sighs> It's past my bedtime. Um, she's expired and uh, is about to turn into a pumpkin or something like that. It is like 11.30 at night. This makeup has been on in the heat all day long. I think I gave it a really good solid wear test. I initially liked how it went on. It was very similar to the Laneige BB that I do super love and that I've worn several times and that does last all day long. This is where things went kind of about halfway into the wear test, it did start just getting a little bit bunchy. And that is my thing that I cannot stand with certain foundations when it almost like lifts and like gets a little bit crackly and weird in your drier areas on your face. But then a little bit of oil was also coming through. So it's just not doing what I personally need it to do as far as a good, great foundation. I can see why people would get excited about this if you love caviar in your foundation. If you need that, if you love that, then this is great. If you love, you know, La Prairie, go for it. I personally would not recommend this. I would save your money. 
money and I would go with the Laneige. I would go with a Dior. Wet n Wild for five bucks, it lasts so much longer and it does not do this like creasy bunchy thing. So that is uh, where we land. I thought I would like this more. I like their original, even more crazy expensive foundation, but this one is a pass for me and I'm gonna go wash my face and call it a night. So there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, share the video, leave me those comments. We are back to testing the full crazy expensive makeup here on my channel like once a week or so. So leave me your requests. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that as well. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every video because it's important and I never used to do that, but we're doing it. So subscribe, ring the bell, make sure that you have everything set to all so that you're notified about my videos. I upload Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 10 a.m. PST. Come back soon and join me for another adventure in makeup. All right, I hope you guys are having a good one. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.